Hello there, friend. Good luck. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Until next time. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual. We got a nickname for anyone who trifles with us. He's a true lord. He'll come around. Suicide. Don't be so sure of that. We've Only the foolish or the courageous approach a yard without something. A great deal of Do I know you? White one. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Rayloff's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man. But he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Balgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then. Soon. I still say you should take the... Hmm. Helgen, eh? Norfolk told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Yeah, but first, tell me. Why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? Alright. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. There's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. 
Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You'll need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will be the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? Need a ride? Where do you want to go? <laughs> Climb and back and we'll be off. Oh, steady. Favor a steel sword. Choice for slashing Boston.
Why we're wasting time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Jarls are upset. They don't owe You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Not at all. That was as much a test of your abilities as it was your resolve. I wasn't sure your heart was in it, but you've proven me wrong, and I respect that. Now, if we're done being sentimental, it's time for you to take the oath. Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us. A heroine of the people. A true daughter of Skyrim. 
a stone cloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag up. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjoon, but if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Have you not heard that ancient verse? Maw unleashing razor snow, of dragons from the blue brought down, birth the walking winter's woe, the High King in his jagged crown. Going way back to King Harald's time, or even before, the High King always wore the jagged crown. It was the symbol of his might and power. The crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and it is said to contain a portion of the power of every king who has worn it. True or not, who would dare deny Ulfric's claim when the legendary jagged crown sits upon his brow? Don't wait Damn around for me. They demand the moot. And damn the moot! We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's women on the throne? Kill them.
Ah, I knew you'd join up. Great news. We'll take back Skyrim together, eh? I'm glad I'll have you beside me in there. This place chills my blood. And I don't care who knows it. These old ruins. My father always told me to stay away from them. Good advice, I'd say. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do. And nothing's going to stand in our way. Hail Galmar. What's the situation? Cold as the inside of an ice race. That and some Imperials are camped out around the entrance. Staying nice and warm around their fires. Imperials? Well, if they're keeping themselves comfortable, let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> What's the Legion doing here? Damn Imperial spies! Well, should be fun for us at least. They don't seem to know we're here yet. Ready to spill some Imperial blood for Skyrim? That's what I like to hear. Listen up. Those Imperials aren't here by coincidence. Their spies must have found out we know about the Crown, and they don't want us to have it. But they won't stand in our way. I know some of you are ex-Legion, and may know men on the other side. But remember this. They are the enemy now, and they will not hesitate to kill you. Keep your wits about you, and watch your shield brothers back. Ulfric Stormcloak is counting on us to bring him back that crown. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Follow me, quickly and quietly now. And run their guts on the ground before they even know we're here. Talok! That's the way I like it. Short and bloody. They never knew what hit them. But do not make the mistake of underestimating the Legion. Plenty of them are Nords, same as us. We had the advantage of surprise this time, but things won't be so easy from here on out. Enough talk. Let's go kill some Imperials. Have you always been that ugly? My signal. Time to show what you're really made of. For Skyrim.
I don't like the look of this. Perfect spot for an ambush. Ten to one, they're just waiting for us on the other side. But there isn't any other way through. Oh, you sure about that? Then please, be my guest and go strolling on in there. We'll stay here and watch your back. Not so sure. Oh, then perhaps we should take a moment to look around a little, eh? You there, unblooded. See if you can find another way through. We'll charge in to help as soon as we hear fighting. Is that? Draugr. Ain't you ever seen one before? No, and I'm not. I'm better off for it now, neither. Steady. A few dusty bone walkers aren't going to stop us any more than the Imperials could. We are not leaving until we get what we came for. Now let's keep moving. of this. They say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover. One thing at a time. We are here for the crown. Any of these carvings show a crown? Like this is as far as the Imperials got. Even if one of these pictures tells us where the crown is, I'm betting we're going to have to find a way through that door. See what you can figure out on Blooded. I'm going to check out these carvings over here. Let me know if you find something. like some kind of claw from a statue. I wonder what it's used for. Good job. 
All right, everyone. Keep your guard up. See if you can find some way to get that gate open. Done it. All right, boys, let's get it. We've got more. Heavy now. They may be earlier than the shield. Here somewhere. Spread out. Keep your eyes open.
to build Helm with the crown as quick as you can. Tell Ulfric he owes me a drink. We'll stick around here for a while and see if we can find anything else useful. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. small hmm blades helmets pretty much anything to suit your needs Good doing business with you. Soon enough, we will march on solitude. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? That's the spirit. I'll get all the details from Garmar when he gets back. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of Whiterun. Deliver this axe to Balgruff the Greater. Yes, an axe. How long have you been in Skyrim? Give the man my axe. If he keeps it, I will bide my time. If he returns it to you, it means war. Men who understand each other often have no need for words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Balgruf will know my meaning. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. 